So the question I wanted you to answer was, if we have equilibrium between a moist air and liquid water, how many degrees of freedom do we have? And where are we in this small air diagram? Well, remember Gibbs phase rule, P plus N equals C plus two. We have two phases because we have the gas and we have a liquid water and we have two components. So then we get N equals two. So we have two degrees of freedom. Now, when we draw a diagram like this, we actually draw it for a specific total pressure. Uh, so if we change the pressure, we need to change the diagram. So we already used one degree of freedom and then we only have one left since the total number of degrees of freedom was two. So we should find some kind of line here. Now, if you have equilibrium between liquid water and the gas, then the partial pressure of water in that gas must be the same as the, as the vapor pressure. And this line down here, 100% relative humidity, is exactly that line. So if you have equilibrium between liquid water and the moist air, you are on this line here. Before we talk about wet temperature, we need to talk about heating and cooling. So what happens when you heat air? Well, if you have a point somewhere here and you want to heat up the air, well, then what happens is that the water will still stay in the air, right? So the water content doesn't change. So you go straight up. And the same thing as if you cool down, you the same amount of water stays in the air so you cool down but then eventually you find yourself on this 100% relative humidity line and the temperature the air has then when you reach that line that's the dew point and as far as you don't cool below the dew point the water content stays the same but if you do cool further down then what happens is that you follow the dew point line um, uh, so the water content will in the air will actually decrease and droplets will form and so you have condensed in the air. Let's take an example. You have an air that is 40 degrees Celsius and has a relative humidity of 0 0.2. What is the dew point? Well, first you need to find the point in the diagram, so it's there. And then you go uh, along the same water content line uh, until you reach the 100% relative humidity. And then you find the dew point. Uh, 